Now, delays are a common item in most mixes. They sort of help to bring out and establish the tempo somewhat, since they will be in time to a tempo. And we'll show you some of the delays here in this mix and how we plan to use some delays. Uh, for one, we've got a delay here in my lead vocal. I'm going to talk about somewhat here, uh, right here. And you also have a stereo delay right here. And I've got a stereo delay, which is right here, along with my lead vocal. I'll hold the two down a little bit here. I've got a different section of my lead vocal to hear this back. Maybe start from right about, I guess, here. Feels just like a dream, the way we met, so it seems. You can hear how that goes on right That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go back to the mixer window. And as I was saying before, you can see here I have this delay going on. All right, so it's a delay right there. And what I'll tend to do also, I will send this delay maybe to the vocal verb. This way the delay has verb on it as well. I'll add some more to it here and you'll hear more of this going on. Feels just like a dream, the way we met, so it seems. I never even felt. And she's still up front, but it adds some of this little more in the back of her. So it gives her this kind of feel like she's in this nice little room or something. Even though we have some vocal delay here, which is muted currently. And when you play it back. It just like a dream, the way we met, so it seems. It gives more of this delay effect going on. When we have this, this vocal that's playing along, along with the delay. So I have this, it's going here as well, with the vocal verb, and also, there's not too much there, but it also has the vocal verb here on the delay itself. So it's common to put the delays uh, with the sends onto that vocal verb, or onto whatever verb you're gonna use. It's common to send delays into other effects. In this case, I'm saying delay into the reverb to give more reverb to the delay. Now this delay is not like a regular echo repeating delay I'm using here. This delay is sort of like where we're flanging. It's like a slapback or in a sense where we have one side is one delay setting, other side is another delay setting. And they're a little further apart from each other as we hear. And you'll hear this. Feels just like a dream, the way we met, so it seems. I never even felt. The way I feel now back there It's quite surprising I found your eyes mesmerizing And she sounds up front, but you still hear the reverb behind her. That's the common thing I like to use a lot to give it that flavor. Now that's just one delay there that I use. And as I said before, it's like a slap back I said before, but check out what I do here. I do, I do add a little rate, and I do have, I don't have any feedback, but I do have some depth to it. And here I have more depth on one the other. I have more depth on the one that's further away from the original, which is 89 milliseconds away from the original vocal. And the one on the left is 55 milliseconds. So they're just a little bit staggered behind each other, and a little different rate change happens on each one of them. I sort of adjusted that way. I don't like the way that it felt, so I kept it. That's one delay. There's another thing I could have on here, too. There's another delay I have here, which is a repeating delay. Feels just like a dream. And you can hear just about a little repeats a little bit there in the background. We'll go to the other end here where that delay's at, and here's it right here. Feels just like a dream, the way we met, so it seems. That's my repeating delay, so my longer delay, which is right here. Now, I keep it pretty low in the background. I'm not trying to do too much with it. I don't want to have it tail off. We're trying to cut the tail end and make sure the tail end of these delays don't get in the way with the words said previously. I may want to use that later on, though, when she gets to a part in the song. Like, for example, she gets further down here in the song, and she gets really emotional here. It's really great stuff coming on here. And I want to go, like, um, here. So I can repeat that at you. And I might do it here and just stay here. Okay, I'll just mute it. You can hear it right in the background here, right? So you can hear the repeating going on with it. And I may want to just do more of that. So I may go back here and bring up this and automate this in the mix. I'll say go to here, and then we'll play it.
So I may want to use that at some point, so I make sure I have my delay going. And here's just the delay I have set here. I've got it set here where I have one at 339 milliseconds. The other one's at 678 milliseconds. So what I'm doing here, I have one quarter note, one eighth note, one stagger right behind the other. Where I don't have it doing too much. Eighth note with almost like a 16 note thing going on there. And it repeats. I'm not going to have it repeat more here. As you can see, I have 13 um, percent here in the feedback and one and 25 on the other. I can do this, let's make this faster. And see, I've got one faster than the other one. I can repeat this one for a shorter period, longer period of time. I go back closer up to here. And we'll do it where it's like the shorter one now. And you can see that go on. Now what you can also do here, let's say I might want to make this a long delay. I can even make it longer. I can go to say back to here. I'll go to my delay setting and I'll go to make it extra long. Now it didn't change, but this maybe more back end to it here. See that? So I can make it even last longer. I can maybe turn this one into 16 notes. And so I can go here. And see, I can set the delay. Now, sometimes you can turn the groove on a little bit. Add a little percentage of, gro of groove here. I may want to go a little bit just to offset a little bit. So it gives, it's, it's not really hitting on the beat, but it's a little bit off of the groove. So it gives that feel like you, and then it falls, and the beat goes, and then it happens. And you'll hear. And it's falling right behind the vocal there. Now this is how I use a delay sometimes when I want to emphasize some sections of the vocals and have it fall in time and then maybe fall a little bit off time to leave the vocal where it just falls in right in place. I want to build that kind of momentum up, that feel within the tracks. When someone listens to it, they go, wow, she's really on. And then when it gets to that peak and it's the emotional content comes out of her, it's a really great emotional vocal thing. You want to make sure that none of the delays get in the way of what she's saying. And this is a really cool way to do it using your delays. Now later on we'll automate these delays in the mix.